I want to go across to Pradeep Gupta first. Pradeep, in the manner in which over the past seven days we've seen the BJP take a sharp communal turn, the Prime Minister himself and below him, Amit Shah, Yogi Adityanath and several other luminaries refer to communal issues and given the fact that the Congress led by Rahul Gandhi is constantly talking about the caste survey, asking people, Tumari jat kya hai? Uh, talking about a more equitable India. Are you seeing this election increasingly becoming Mandal versus Kamandal? And if this is happening, to whose advantage is it? Pradeep Gupta. Yeah, first of all, Rahul, this is not the case. This election definitely not getting into this direction for sure. Over the years, any election for that matter, there are three limits. One is the people, two is the political parties and the politician you talked about. And third, most important is the media. Let's talk about the first, the people, how they elect and how they select whosoever they do. More than 80% who vote, their livelihood largely indirectly or directly depend on the government of the day. So they elect and select government very, very carefully. That a single percent doubt on that. This is what politicians or political parties. See, whatever speech or whatever these politicians talk in different forums, 40-50 मिनट बात करते होंगे तो 5 मिनट वो जरूर इन विषयों पे बात करते हैं जिन विषयों की आप बात कर रहे हैं एंड दे विल डू सो बिकॉज़ वो सारे जितने आर्म्स एंड एमुनिशन है उनके अर्सनल में वो सारा का सारा इस्तेमाल करेंगे उसमें 40 में 5 मिनट इसके लिए भी देते हैं कहने का मतलब है 10 मिनट के करीब वो इन विषयों पे भी बात करते हैं क्योंकि देयर आर सेक्शन ऑफ सोसाइटी जो शायद इनसे भी प्रभावित but 90% वो development और विकास और लोगों के जीवन में क्या परिवर्तन लेके आएंगे उन्हीं पे बात करते हैं और तीसरी बात है मीडिया ऑब्वियसली मीडिया को ये सूट करता है कि जो सनसनी हो जो इस तरह के मुद्दे हो जिसको पब्लिक देखना चाहती है वो उन दो चार पांच मिनट को पिक करके और उन पे चर्चा करता है रह गई बात इस इलेक्शन की हर इलेक्शन में जैसे होता है आप ये इलेक्शन नहीं जितने भी उठा के देखे पिछले दिनों में तो आप जरूर पाएंगे इस तरह के विषयों पे बात की जाती रही है और की जाती रहेगी फ्यूचर दिस इज माय टेक ओके आशुतोष प्रदीप गुप्ता डिसएग्रीइंग सेइंग दिस इज पावर फॉर द कोर्स वी आर ओवर हाइपिंग द डीवीसी इश्यूज व्हिच आर बीइंग स्पोकन ऑफ दिस हैपेंस इन ऑल इलेक्शंस ओनली 10% ऑफ द कैंपेन वोटर्स आर फार मोर डिसर्निंग दे लुक एट हु माइट हेल्प देम रादर देन जस्ट गोइंग बाय द हेडलाइन सेंसेशनल इश्यूज व्हिच आर मैटर्स ऑफ पब्लिक डिबेट एंड आर यूजफुल फॉर द टीवी but are useful for the tv media but not for the voters do you agree or do you no. see this election take a more communal turn i i i, I don't I, i disagree with him i disagree with him for the simple reason because in indian politics or indian society the caste and the religion these are the two defining uh, construct of an identity you you go to bihar you go to up you go to any any place in this country why we talk about lingayats why we talk about the vokalegas why we talk about yadavas why we talk about kurmi kushwaha and why there are so many political parties with one or two mps but up 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 caste so the caste is the defining feature in indian politics there's no doubt about it over the over the caste identity if sometimes unemployment play, plays a plays a decisive role sometimes it's like a topping So in this election, what I see is the return of 1991. Why I'm saying the return of 1991 for the simple reason because at that point of time, when V.P. Singh announced the implementation of Mandal Commission report, then, the, then BJP as a counter started uh, this uh, the, the, the Kamandal campaign, and Lal Ke Sadwani started the Rath Yatra. Today, what is happening is again the BJP is reacting because Rahul Gandhi before Rahul Gandhi, it was Nitish Kumar who started this caste census debate. Rahul Gandhi picked picked that, and now the BJP knows that their whole civilizational agenda of uniting the entire Hindu community will go haywire if the caste consciousness becomes an overarching consciousness. So it it is not only going against their civilizational project project, but it is also going against their political project because the, the Modi's success lies because he could unite not only the upper caste but BJP successfully infiltrated in between in in the OBCs and the Dalits. and it is because of the dalits and obcs coming towards the bjp that the bjp became such a powerful uh, figure at the at the nation so if this caste census becomes very powerful and that is why mr modi in order to neutralize that has gone has taken this uh, muslim league and the 
the, Over the, the past two minutes, you've seen why this debate is so interesting. Ashutosh argues that yes, an attempt is being made to make this Kamandal versus Mandal, caste versus religion. Pradeep Gupta says, no, that's not important. That's just the f flaky milk at the top of the cappuccino. That's not the real political cappuccino. Sanjay Kumar, your sense, are we increasingly seeing, whether it becomes or not is another question, are we increasingly seeing both by the opposition and by the government an attempt to make this Mandal versus Kamandal, where the BJP is pushing for Kamandal and the opposition trying to create increasing caste consciousness. No, absolutely, Rahul, I agree with what you are saying. If you look at the tone and tenor of the campaign by BJP on one hand, at least for the last five, seven days, uh, clearly BJP is trying to convert this uh, election into kind of a commandal because they're always trying to just oppose the majority community, community with the minority community. And it is not coming from one political leader of BJP, it's coming from almost kind of a uh, kind of a note which has been circulated to all the leaders and everybody is singing in the one tune. And if you look at the leaders of the opposition party, especially Rahul Gandhi, uh, you rightly mentioned right at the beginning that he's asking, he's, he's trying to emphasize the importance of caste and why the importance of why it is important to, you know, do this caste census, why it is important to give justice to the people who belong to the lower ranks of the social ladder, uh, referring to the OBC, referring to the Dalit. So I think in my opinion, yes, at least if you look at the tone and tenor of the campaign, it is turning into a Mandal versus Kamandal. So two versus one. Sanjay Kumar Ashutosh saying, yes, it is becoming Mandal versus Kamandal. Uh, Pradeep Gupta taking a contrarian line saying, no, that's not consequential. Yashwan Deshmukh, where do you come out on this issue? Are we very clearly seeing, regardless of whether it is working or not, an attempt by both political formations to try and make this Mandal versus Kamandal? Yashwan Deshmukh. Well, Rahul, uh, I think BJP's policy in the last many, many decades has been trying to overlap Kamandal within Mandal. That's how they have been targeting it. That's how their growth plan has been over the last 10 years. So obviously, they very much care about Kamandal, but at the same time, they cannot leave the Mandal. And they know for sure that their winning formula has actually attained a critical mass uh, only after they took care of uh, uh, Mandal into the Kamandal itself. So if you remember in 1989 onward, right after the Mandal Commission was uh, came in, even at that point of time, the BJP leaders, none of the BJP leadership had actually criticized the reservation policy. The RSS people have never criticized it in that way. They, they have said that, you know, it will be ideal and dream scenario of when we reach a situation where there is no reservation is required. You remember during the Bihar election, the RSF chief uh, said something and that was taken out of proportion and BJP had to pay uh, a bloody price for that, uh, you know, mis uh, miscommunication. So I think uh, as far as the RSS or the BJP is concerned, they are pretty clear about the affirmative action. There is no way they can not take into the caste thing into their consideration. And this thing is a permanent part of Indian politics. Yes, they are trying to give a larger narrative for sure that there is a developmental politics, there is a larger umbrella where, you know, everybody is equal. But let's face the fact, you cannot take the caste equation out of uh, the Indian context, at least in politics or in the social fabric. Okay. So Yashwan Deshmukh is part of shaping fabric. the debate differently, saying it is Kamandal with Mandal and rackets for the BJP. And that's how they're trying to take both caste and religion together and create a formidable combination.